Morning. Right, back on the same tip again. Um, well, I've got to say, um, big thank you to the new subscribers. Big thank you to people who's bought things from my shop, and a big thank you to Keith um, for the gift that you've given me. Um, hopefully, I'll have to use that soon when I find a bottle with some labels on. But um, yeah, that's it. It's uh, nice and early. It's, it's quarter past six in the morning, so probably dig to about dinner time and um, see what I find. First bottle straight away is um, just a tiny, tiny little blacking pot. It's a nice little cute and all. But um, Peter didn't find this a couple of days ago actually because I've just I've just posted one of these like a bigger version of this. And um, if I'd have still had the other one, yeah, I'd have stuck this one in too for you. But um, never mind. All right, I've got a tiny chip there though. Look, or is it a chip? No, I don't think that is a chip. Sometimes you get these where they've They've got a little bits of damage, and it's actually in the glazing from when they was made because they weren't gentle with them. But uh, yeah, there's your first bottle anyway. Just doing a bit of gardening because if I don't move it on that within half an hour, I won't be able to reach it, and it'll just be poking me in the head all the time. So. Best thing to do is get it all off now. That's not good, is it? <laughs> You're not going to see much down there. It is <laughs> completely plain. Yeah, a completely plain one, but I don't think you can see that. But that is absolutely full of. Um, like stones um, I've just seen oh it's broken so I was just gonna say I've just seen something there much more interesting than that broken there wow that would have been nice cut that and this is whiskey Let me put this down. Oh, I can't believe that. That would have been an awesome bottle, that. <sighs> Bloody early and all. I'm just checking the other bits not in there. Look at the lip on that. That would have been a stunning bottle. Can't believe that. But if there's one, there might be some more, yeah? So um, let's get to work. Got a little pot pie in here, look. Let's pull him out and have a proper look. Nothing on him, but these are always lovely little things, these are. Always nice. Yeah, never get bored of digging these little things. Lovely. Right, just had a massive cave in. I've dug it all out again. Obviously I can see where I'm coming to nice ash again now, but I've just found this. Now, I can't tell what it is, but I know I'm always getting told off by people how rough I am with these sort of finds when I, I find something. So now, I can show you what Keith got me. 
feel like a proper archaeologist for this so right in here I've got if I can undo it that is here we go ah so there's another clip there I have got a proper blowy thing and a proper brush like pen here for cleaning stuff and I think there's something on that side too actually yeah another one there look so uh, if I haven't actually had a proper look at this really I've been dying to try it out so um, right, let's give this a bit of a clean anyway let's see what it is I can see some sort of patterning on that already and it looks quite interesting actually so um, yeah let's give it a go I can see something on it I don't know what it is, but it's really ornate that is. I'm wondering if it's um I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know at all. I've got this one too, obviously for the next time I find my labels. Right, I don't know what the hell that is. It's definitely worth a, a bit of a zap in the electric, that is. I don't know. It almost looks Chinese, I think. I reckon that's Chinese. I think that there is a dragon. That's really weird. Yeah, very, very unusual find. Like I say, I'll know more when I clean this up, but um, yeah. Thank you very much for this Keith, this is going to come in very very handy, especially on my next labels. Right, getting going again now, but um, I don't seem to be finding much again. It's weird, all the bottles seem to have just stopped and it's, it's all ash but there's no bottles in it. It's a very weird place, but um, I have just found one here anyway, but it's I think it's only a, a plain one. In fact, I, I can see that's plain now. Let's have a look. Yeah, just a plain one again. I mean, it's quite nice. Nice slender neck on it and everything. But, um, yeah, I don't know where all the stuff is today again. Got something here, look. I think it's on them weird German hock things, I think. Certainly a nice neck on it. In fact, it's quite early actually, you know. Nothing on it. Beautiful neck on it. It's unusual on that is. That's the first decent bottle that's come out up to yet. I said I was about ready to give up, but actually I'm running out of time now. But um, yeah, that's something anyway. What have I got here? Big lump of brass or something. Ooh. I don't know if that's a gun or what.
I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird shape, but then I'm no gun expert at all. What the hell is that about? Yes, I really don't know, but that needs cleaning up. I've got a feeling that's a gun. I'm just having a breather a minute and um, just checking out these shovels. These shovels have served me well now. No problems with them whatsoever. I was a bit sceptical about these um, like fiberglass shafts. But um, yeah, there's the bomb proof. They've got a nice bit of flex in them too. But um, I'm just looking at that. that. The only thing that will concern me about this one when I first bought it is it had a really, really sharp serrated bit there, which is a good idea. I'm scared of it just wearing anything with shovel bag all the time, but like I say, it's um, that seemed dulled down, hasn't it? That looks a bit blunt now. Shows you how much to wear. But um, yeah, if anybody's thinking of getting a shovel, I do highly recommend these Roughneck. They are brilliant. Light, very, very strong, and just lovely shovels to use, especially the, the really long one. Another bottle it. Right, I can see a bit of label on it already. Oh, I like this. That works absolutely brilliant. Right, that one is a, a Worcestershire sauce. I had one of these, I feel, last time. But if you can remember, the last one had a really, really nice green lip on it for some reason. But yeah, this is brilliant. It's um, just what I need, actually, because like I say, I can blow all the muck off these labels without actually touching it, because as soon as you touch it, it just comes off. So, yeah, thanks again for these, Keith. These are brilliant. Brilliant. Right, back to the in. Back to this again, and that busy concentrate on the label, I didn't even see the actual embossing on it. Lovely. So the last one didn't have any embossing it, so I just assumed there'd be nothing on it. It's actually got some on the neck and all that. <coughs> An angry crow. So, uh, yeah, nice find. So the car's down here. Look. I've just clonked it one with a shovel, so I so open it's all right. So. Let's have a look up here anyway, it's a little bit lighter. Problem is today, it's quite gloomy and I'm also under trees and I can see now that it's got a great big crack in it. So I might have done that. In fact, I don't know if I have a, that's a bruise that is there, that one. So I think it was already cracked. Look at that. Can't read what it says on the bottom, but um, only a clear glass one anyway, so not a complete disaster. I think I've got another like Worcestershire sauce thing here, complete the la um, label, complete with a stop on it and all. So let's have a look at him. So I know it's easier to climb out to the edge of the hole, actually, and have a look. Oh, it's nice, it's Liam Perez, this one. It's not going to focus on that. No. Nope. There you go.
Nice early writing on that too. I like how it's got the original stuff with it still. Right, I think I'm going to concentrate down in that little corner because that's where all the bottles seem to be coming out. Bit now, and um, last time, <clears throat> that's better. Right, last time I was on this piece, um, it came down on me once and it was quite dangerous. It's already done it once already. But uh, yeah, getting, well, it tops up there, so I can't climb out now anyway, so um, you have to be careful. But um, yeah, I'm not going to go much deeper than this now because I don't fancy it when I'm on my own. It's, it's always a bit, bit iffy. There's nobody there to pull you out if it does come in. So um, yeah, I'm going to open it out a little bit more, then carefully cut in that way until it caves in and just hope it doesn't get me. We have another marble. Now I'm absolutely miles away from where I found that jar full, so I know it's not from that. And that's actually like, I know it's like a weird like pottery one that is, but uh, yeah, well on for the marble collection anyway. Just had a HP sauce. Always nice. This one's a bit too far gone to be able to see anything on the label, though sometimes a bit better than that. But, uh, yeah, things are starting to come out, but very, very slowly, but I'm getting that deep now, it's it's getting a bit dangerous again, especially on my own. So, um, yeah, another beer, um, beer, another bottle anyway. Look at this. I've been digging all this time. I didn't even see one there, look. So, um, yeah, let's pull that one out and see what that is. That's been there for ages and I've just completely missed it. Where is it? It's right there. Right, how can I do this? Because I've got to try and hold my camera and do this at the same time. Ugh. Broken. That was a boots one. Oh well. Right, I've got to the point where I can't go any deeper again. Um, not on my own, especially on my own, but um, yeah, too deep again now. I've got to try and cave this in now because I can't climb out. So I've got to cave it in to raise the bottom so I can get out. But um, yeah, I've just got to be careful now. There's a top there. So. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. I don't like this bit. This is the only bit that scares me is caving sides in like this because if it comes in on top of me, I can't get out. So, um, yeah, let's take a time and um, cave it in slowly. Well, I'll probably cut myself a step in this side too. So at least if it does come down, at least I can get a leg on it and get myself so far out anyway. So, um, yeah, not much at all again. I'm afraid this tip is kind of running out with the bottles unless it all changes yet when I cave it in so yeah let's get to work anyway well, that's got me a little bit out anyway enough where I can put you on the bank and you can actually see me anyway so um yeah let's have a look what's gonna come out that's some lovely ash we'll see Uh, if you can even see that, I want to put you down it a bit so you can actually see. And that's a bit of a risk, but. But no, no move. I really, really don't like it when it's like this, so I'm going to have to leave you there. I know what this tip does. It all comes in, all in one gun. With absolutely no warning sometimes. That'd have been nice. Broken all up. Bit of a candlestick holder. 
but it's all gone white that's usually where it's been melted too much burnt I think that is going to go again. I think it's only a little bit. It's like that. You've just got to be so careful. You certainly don't want to be down there when it all goes. I've got myself a little bit of a, a bank again, I can slide down there, you can see it, yeah. Still see me? Whoa. It's gonna go in a minute. Little tiny shared neck. Nothing special though. Right, I feel a little bit safer now because I'm stood up and it's only there. Do you know what I mean? So I know it's not going to bury me alive. It's still going to hurt, but um, yeah, I think it's going to go. The rest is going to go in a second anyway. So um, I'm going to stop you there a minute and um, yeah, stop you there. In fact, sorry, let's keep it going because I think this is going to come down in a second anyway. You never know, the best vine might be any second. Gee, everything's damaged. I just had that then. Lovely label on it, but ooh, it's got um, a chip out of the lip. If you, you can, whoa! Oh. Yikes. And I am buried up to my waist. Shows you, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting that then. <clears throat> right, that's me done for today. It's actually, it's only about 10 o'clock, but I want to be home at a decent time today with it being Father's Day and everything. I thought I'd better, I'll be in trouble if I stay out digging all day long. But um, not much at all really today. It's um, it's a strange old tip, it really is. You seem to have good days and really bad days. But um, plenty of um, bits of plates and stuff like that for my um, shop because people seem to be liking this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's all different. It's all unusual stuff, you know, little bits and stuff. It's, yeah, you seem to like it anyway. A couple of bits and bobs, which I don't know how to do here. I might use them for something. Oops, I've dropped that. 
a um, couple of bits there. I don't know whether they'll be coming home yet or what. Probably not that one. These ones here definitely are. Um, the nice big Holbrooks, the Liam Perrys, HB Sauce, little pork pie ink. That's just a shade neck one, but it's got a right wonky kink in it. Can you see it there? So, stuff like these, you can make little collections of these sometimes, or wonky stuff. Um, they're quite nice. I think it's a German bottom. A nice neck on it and a lovely colour. Um, the I'm saying Japanese because I think it's Japanese. Some sort of like snuff box or tin or something like that. I'll know more when I clean it up. But I'd say that's Japanese. It might even be like a, a war souvenir or something like that. So I'll know more when I clean it. But I think the star of the find is definitely this, which I'm hoping is a gum. So um, yeah, some of these bits will be in my shop and bits and bobs like that. So if you want to check out my shop, it's in the link to my description. And um, yeah, that's about it. So um, I'll see you on the cleanup video. Oh, well, um, one more thing. Um, I forgot about that too. A little tiny army button, which um, phone's not going to focus on it. Nah, it's not going to have it. But there's something on it. I can see like a crest on it or something like that. So um, yeah, right. Clean it. See you on the cleanup video anyway.